G'day all, Brother Blonde. I don't know why I just waved, but hello. Uh, welcome back to another how-to video. This time it's uh, one with a difference. It's not a how-to cooking show. However, if you get this wrong, it may turn out to be a cooking show. So I'm not in the kitchen, I'm just sitting in front of a, a blank wall. So that's a little bit boring, isn't it? So I'll mix up the scenery a little bit and I'll just put a toilet roll there. Because if I get this wrong, then I might need the toilet roll. Um, but also, what I'm about to tell you, you may think is a whole lot of <laughs> that might require a toilet roll, so that's there. All right, some of you may be familiar with my little um, high def uh, Ventura cam, which um, I've used for motorcycle vlogs and um, various other things, particularly some of the uh, kitchen ones where I've done the overhead view. This thing's just gripped on and looked down. Well, one of my beautiful children the other day decided to see if this thing would bounce. It doesn't. Um, what it does do is break. Now, fortunately, what I was able to do was fix it so it still actually works. But the charging function of it doesn't work. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. This camera um, uses little mobile phone battery. It also uses a USB cable, the normal USB here, and then a the little um, pluggy thingy me thingy that goes into the uh, camera or into the phone if you've got a phone. But um, all the circuitry who's me bobs inside the camera is not working, so it's not charging. So I thought well, that thing's got, I don't know if you can see there, probably out of focus now because I've got this on manual focus but anyway it's got the little um, plugs there of the little metal thingies and it's got a plus and a minus sign and um, so I thought well there's got to be a way of charging it without the charger and there is what I've done here's one I prepared earlier what I did was not the big end but the little end you just cut the little end probably best to use a pair of scissors or a knife as opposed to these two fingers because you're going to be there for a long time doing that. So basically you cut the end off, strip the wire back and you'll find that there are four wires in there but what you actually want are the, the red and the black. So you strip the plastic back from those to expose the actual wires and that's what you want to uh, hook in to your battery thingamajiggy and I'll show you how to do that so come on down here and we'll um, have a closer look at all the machination and going on things. <clears throat> I'll move the toilet roll first <laughs> just just put it there as a nice little background. All right the easiest way to do this is if you have a laptop when you've When you've cut your wires, all you have to do is plug your USB thing into your laptop, grab your battery, make sure that the red goes to the positive, the black to the negative. Don't worry about this one in the middle, it doesn't affect the charging. And then just touch the red on the positive, black on the negative, and it's charging away. Now, if you want to be really high tech, you can actually, without touching the two wires together because if you touch the two wires together this then becomes the cooking show that I was talking about before so you can uh, stick the wires in like that red to the positive can you see that I don't know if you can see that clearly enough too bad if you can't black to the negative and tape it together and Bob's your uncle. If Bob's not your uncle, well, again, too bad. Now, there is another way of doing this. That's the, that's the easy way, I'll say the easy way, it's the, um, probably the quickest way. I also have a charger here, which uh, the battery won't fit into, but it does have a USB output. So if I don't happen to have a computer, well, then I wouldn't be able to upload this video. But, 
since I do have a computer, that doesn't really matter. I just plug this thing in here into the USB output. It actually has a little charge light which indicates that it's charging. But that's enough rambling. Let's go back up to my other seat. Piece of cake, easier than cooking, not as tasty, but works a treat. And I've been using it a few times now to charge up my little uh, camera thingy, and my little battery doobalaka thing. And um, there you go. So I hope that helps if you ever have this same problem that I have. Actually, one way around the problem is don't have kids. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Ooh, it moved. No, not interested.